to the front, which is great. My family's owl is getting oh. too old. Half of the letters end up in the local pond. How they were in they different stuff. Before, I don't know. They're being fancy. The slid straight out of your fingers. I've How not forgotten it? about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Nothing worse than that sounds really good. Um. However, before we do anything else. I want to try and see if we can go to Hogsmeade and buy our own broom and maybe fly back on our own broom. Come on, before we do that. There we go. 12 hours. Jesus Christ. Um, the map. By the way, do we have new gear? I want to see what we got there. What's that? Take this to the room of requirement, okay. Ah, yeah, where where do I get that? Oui. That one actually looks shit. <laughs> okay, sorry, but no. This What were you thinking when you made those? <laughs> really, I'm sorry, but uh, that's insane. Gothic attire. I want to see how it looks though. Hmm, can't really see much. But it seems to look cool. Um. Anyways, we wanted to go to the map. Hobbs Mead. And this is where we want to go. Um, no, 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 we can just travel. There's also side quests there. Maybe we're going to do some of them before we continue with the main quest. I don't even know what's expected for that. But Sebastian seemed to have some exciting stuff for us to do. And we're at a point in the story where we can let go a bit and focus on the side quests. And at some point, Professor Fick ah, will get back home and then we can tell him about our adventures. Does it get any more cozy? Full corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Sounds great. Sounds great. So the Quidditch um, supply shop was somewhere close to here. Um, and by the way, before we do anything, I wanted to see the goth rope that we just got. It's not good, I know that, but maybe it looks cool. Um, are you going to load menu? So there we go. Yes. Ah, oh, locked. How dare you? And why is that locked? Are you kidding me? I don't get it. The goth rope it was. So now we have to equip another cloak. Maybe like this one. Oh yeah, looks cool. N not for now, but for later. Definitely. Um, the problem is though that I have no idea wh where to store this stuff. I, I want to um, to keep the goth rope for later. However, I just can't. I just can't. Um, I might want to figure that out. So, anyways. Where's the Quidditch shop? There we go. Right behind us. 
We need one more level only. Until we're ready to, to get a couple of new buffs. But we won't be doing that until we learned all of those chants and spells and whatever it is. Wait. It's getting... Ah, oh, new face! Wonderful! There we go. I'll be. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. I want a fast one. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the Yew One's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. <laughs> Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Uh, everything. Whatever. I'll pay every... Oh, they are quite cheap. So... Um... Let's see. Ember Dash. Looks cool. Hogwarts House Broom. Not really. I... We will look through all of them. The Ember that Dash. Is of the highest quality. Oh, I love it. I love it. It has this little thing here that I don't like so much. Um, those remind me of those little like um, sentries that you have in cars. But other than that, looks really good. That item is of the highest quality. Um, is it the? No, won't use that. The moon trimmer. Okay, a travel broom. Not so bad, not so bad. Can use it at night. That item is of the highest quality. Uh, no, I don't like that one. The wind wisp. Mm -mm. Too unorganized or too chaotic in the bag. I don't know. That I item is of the highest quality. Oh, that's a cool one too. Comfortable and speedy. With a unique woven design, so. That item is of the highest quality. I mean, I did like that. It might be a bit too fancy. This one, I think, would work for us. Reflects our personality a little bit. That item is of the highest quality. Um, yeah, I think we're going for the moon trimmer. The ember dash or the moon trimmer. Can we? Oh, we can. The Ember Dash has something back there in his... That item is of the highest quality. Um, back. I mean, this one comes with a free lamp. Hmm. No question. First of all, let's see if we can sell anything. No. Elegant casual uniform. I think we can get rid of that. Nice like doing that. business with you. Ancient mystery scarf. Nope, thank you. Dignified school robe. Better than the traditional one. Traditional school robe? Tradition oh, we have two of those. 
Um, what's that? The Quidditch cave? Looking good. The bloody flat cap. Get blasted. So we will keep the goth. The dreamer's nightwear. I, I somehow like that. I, I wish there was a place to store it. Maybe in the room of requirement. Which, by the way, I guess Miss Weasley is going to tell us about now. Tartan. Yeah, I want to keep that too. Just because it's a cool design. So, I of course did all of that only to... Um, to not have to make a choice. That item is of the highest quality. I like this one, but it might be a bit too fancy. I, I would buy it immediately if it wasn't for whatever this is. And that's why this one, I think, fits our character the best. And Moon Trimmer also sounds really nice. Okay. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. <laughs> All right. We have a broom now. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Yeah, sure. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some Good. ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another sure. Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I'd say I'm in. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. There's no Nimbus, by the way. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. All right. Once you've beaten Imelda's that time, be sure to let me know. By the way... I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. Me neither. However, I want to equip the broom if we haven't equipped it already. Um, the gear. And there it is, our broom. We can have three upgrades. How many brooms are there? Okay. Really? 
Um. So then, yeah. How do I? How do I fly? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah, certainly. All right. There we go. Flying. 